we are going to cover predefined functional interfaces and in this video we are going to see predicate as our first functional interface which is most widely used functional interface this interface has only one method and this method accept any type of object if you see here it is written as t that means it can accept any type of object and it returns boolean so if we create a predicate of employee that means the lambda function is going to take employee as an object and returns boolean so if you see the lambda here it takes an object of employee and returns true or false whether the employee age is greater than 21 or not so if the age is greater than 21 that means it returns true or else it returns false so this is a boolean expression the most important thing to note here is when we write a lambda for this predicate interface then this lambda takes any type of object as a input argument and returns boolean so this is the important thing that we have to note here that it takes any type of object but it returns boolean and in predicate interface we have three default methods and two static methods default methods are and or and negate and static methods are is equal and not so let's see them in action so consider this example here we have a list of students and what is in the list so we have list of seven students like this here so each student have name city and age few of them are from pune city and few of them are from mumbai city now if you see here student list dot get zero that means who is at zeroth position the first element is student ankit so what we are doing here is we are just saving that student for future reference now moving on to predicate so here we are defining predicate of students that means this lambda is going to take student as a object and what it is doing is it is returning if the city of a student is mumbai or not if the city of student is mumbai then return true or else false this is a boolean expression right so it takes an object of student and returns boolean that's why it is a predicate and now consider second predicate here which is also a predicate of student that means it is going to take a object of student and returns if the age is greater than or equal to 21 that means if the age is greater than 21 or equals to 21 it returns true or else written false now we have these two predicates that we have created now let's use streams api to filter the student list so what we are doing here is we are doing student list dot stream and then we are filtering the list and then we are collecting to another list right so if you see here filter method here it takes predicate so this is an important thing to note that this streams api filter it takes predicate as an input argument some of the interviewers might ask this question that what is the input parameter type of a filter so it is a predicate okay and what predicate is it, it is taking that is from mumbai city that means the student list is going to be filtered and we will get only those student which is from mumbai city and if i execute this so if you see we have only three students and now i want also to filter based on age as well so how do i do it if you have if you remember we also have default methods in our predicate interface and that in methods we can use we can chain the predicates using and or default methods in functional interface so if you see now i want to filter only from mumbai city as well as age greater than 21 that means this third entry will be removed let's try and run it so if you see there are only two entries similarly we can also use or as well but you know how to use and and or so i'll not go into details there is one more default method that is negate so what does it do it negates this predicate that is currently we are getting only from mumbai city and if i negate it that means i'll get only those who are not from mumbai city so if i execute this i'll get all the students which are from pune city okay now if you remember we also have two static methods in the predicate interface so let's try and write one more predicate of student which says is not from mumbai so how we can write it using static method is not so if you see here we are using static method which is not so predicate dot not and we pass the predicate and it will negate the predicate for us that means this two lines here 
are same so if you see is not from mumbai how we are doing it predicate dot not we are using static method to negate this predicate and we can also use default method to negate this predicate okay so if i use this is not from mumbai city which is using static method from predicate it will also result into same output you see here we are getting the same output okay so that means this predicate dot not and dot negate these two methods are doing exactly same work there is one more static method in predicate and let's write a predicate for that one as well and that predicate is is ankit student okay and that predicate how do we call static method we call it using class name right is equal ankit so what we are doing is we are passing student object here so that means in the list we are checking if the student is equal to ankit and then and only then we are considering that student otherwise filter out okay so if i pass here is student ankit that means we are going to get only those object which is equal to ankit okay and in our list we have only one such student right so if i run this program i'll get only one student because in our list we have only one student who is ankit right so if i had two student in my list with same object i would have get two objects if you want to see that i can do that student list dot add and i put ankit here again that means now my list has two ankit right and if i run this i'll get two students so here you see we are getting two objects which are equal to this ankit object okay so that is all about predicate interface thank you bye bye